I'm going to show you how to make cute little blossoms from the big blossoms of hydrangeas that you find in the silk department at the local craft store. It's going to be really easy and you don't have to use glue if you don't want to or you can. So these are some ones I've already made. Now these are the what they looked like before, the big blossoms, and they had the stems coming out with the leaves but I took them off just for easy storage until I'm ready to start my project they pop off real quick now the blossoms pop off real simple and then pull out the centers that come with them and they can be a little bit difficult because there's kind of a spiky tab that helps keep them on but if you just pull it'll come off without doing damage to the petal so you're gonna go through and you're gonna take off all of the blossoms at once and it'll go by really quick once you get going. So now we have some blossoms ready to go and they have these nice little holes in them as you know that are going to be really vital for the easiness of the project. Now I have these brads from the scrapbooking section at the store and these ones have great little rhinestones in the center and you can get them in all sorts of different designs. There's hearts and stars and colors and it's kind of limitless so you're just gonna decide what kind of sizes there are different size petals on the flowers so I like to find some small ones first and then um, there is even medium and some large so just mess around with ones you want to go so I'm gonna push two fabric layers of fabric flowers through the layers and then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna pull the brad open and stabilize it now I'm just, you could have done, I'm doing three layers right now, but I'm gluing the bottom layer on because I'm probably going to use these for hair accessories, and I just want to hide those ends of the brads, just for any, in case there's any sharp edges. So I'm just going to glue some in here, and then press the other one with the two layers on top. Now you could just go through all three layers and be done without any glue necessary use them for scrapbook pages I've put them on on little socks for my kid they go on bobby pins and headbands and just any sort of craft project in general so again push it through one the top and again on the bottom open the brad maybe there we go and then we're just going to glue find the bottom one kind of see if that works and press okay so you can spend some time doing all of them or I'm just gonna be done for now Here's two. And now these are just some plain silver brads that I'm going to show you real quick. I actually put red glitter on the top of the ball, so they're going to be great for Christmas. Now, this is a bobby pin with a glue pad, and the other two are just regular store. I'm going to end this tutorial with just a quick little example of a headband of what these hydrangeas can look like. So I have two purple colored ones I'm going to be putting on this teal fold over elastic that I've sized for a two year old. And I'm also going to be adding some black feathers. I have a three inch strip of feather fringe. It's the easiest thing to add, the way to add feathers to your projects. So I'm just going to put some glue along the satin end of the feather trim and then place one flower 
down covering the ends and the flowers are going to overlap just a little bit to make sure everything is covered up and press. Perfect. Okay. So let's get the elastic. And I'm going to cover up the end where I glued the ends of the headband together. I'm just blowing the feathers out of the way of the glue a little bit. Okay. Again, gluing down on the satin strip of the feather fringe. I'm going to set it down and then I'm going to, without stretching the elastic out, I am going to press it and glue it. Today I used my hot glue gun on low, so with all this pressing of those hydrangeas and stuff, I did not burn my fingers for once. And a quick, easy headband. You can make so many projects out of just one bushel of hydrangea. Thanks for watching.